Hi, you fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's Horror Palooza time, guys. All right. Yeah, I'm so excited for this. Two months of nonstop horror, guys. What's the first one, Dan? We are watching Identity. Yes, we are. Have you seen this? I have not. Okay, I think you're in for a treat then. All right, guys, let's kick this off in the right way. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. As I was going up the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. Where did you learn that poem? When I was a kid, I made it up. This is an eerie start. Tell me what you remember about your mother. I remember my mom was a whore. Alfred Molina? Yeah. You remember the murders? Hmm. Some grisly pictures. Are you the person who murdered six residents of the Lake Worth Apartments on May 10th, 1998? That's my birthday. Didn't answer the question. Interesting connection, though. It's e. She won't stop bleeding. Jesus, what happened? It was an accident. We had an accident. Well, that's too bad. I recognize him, too. Oh, that's horrible timing. Worst weather to have a flat tire in. Yeah. And roll too slow. Stop. Okay, honey? Uh -huh. oh. Timothy? Not so bad an accident. You always talk to yourself about directions when you're doing something. Shoo! A shoe? Well, that's interesting. Something never comes, never leads to nothing. I'm guessing it was your fault. For he's a jolly good fella. For he's mm. a jolly... I know what her profession is. Please. You think he's a politician? Probably. You had to go through that whole thing to remember where your shit was? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright. I thought there might be a body in the road or something. <laughs> God. You didn't oh see him God. coming? You didn't hear him coming? What have you done? What have you done? Jesus. I think I have a spare battery in my bag up front next to you. In the Louis Vuitton duffel, right on top. How about you just pass the Louis Vuitton back to her? Right? Jesus! <gasps> no! <laughs> yeah, look at the road, not in the bag. Let me take what a look! You it is Stay here, keep her dry. It's okay. At least he is a responsible driver. He just made a horrible mistake. Yeah, it could be worse. It's okay. It's okay. But she's not going to help out. Give me the goddamn phone. There you go. What about the other battery? I'm not getting a line. It happens in the rain. St. Jude has 24-hour emergency, 30 miles east. 30 miles? So he's going to drive 30 miles to get somebody and bring them back as opposed to just taking her there the 30 miles one way. You work for me. Then you get those bags back in this car right now. Listen, there you go. God, please, please. I'm sorry, my car is stuck. Can I get a ride? Uh, well, okay. I hope you like hospitals. Yeah, I gotta say. <laughs> you know you're going east. Hospitals this way. It's flooded. I mean, it's a dead end. Oh, no. Hey, didn't you used to be that actress? <sighs> yes. Thanks for reminding her. Now, is that a nice room? The nicest. It's very cozy. Well, you didn't ask her for more money. I'm surprised. Hey! Hey, stop! Do you have a cell phone? Look, there's been an accident. A lady's hurt. First of all, we do not know who you are. Listen to me, dude. I'm having a real fucked up bad fucking day. Yeah, come on, man. Just give him a cell phone. We don't have a cell phone, so could you just let go of me now? All I had to do was say that. That should show where this movie was made. Right in that time where some people had him, some people didn't. <laughs> Is he also a security detail for her? That'd be my guess. Okay. Listen, is there another way out of the valley? She a hooker. Hey, is there a back road I can cut through? You did just make an extra 50, so. We don't rent rooms by the hour. Hey, the rooms are warm, dry, and 30 bucks in vans. I was just talking to you. I'd appreciate it if you looked at me. Well, I don't like looking at trash. Damn. What's all that about? We're a little stuck here, George. I don't think we can get out tonight. It just keeps shaking. She's in shock. Good bandages, keep her warm. She should be all right. Yeah. At least we got a good number. No. <laughs> 69. <laughs> you got a great number. It's an official looking car. Must be the uh, inmate. Did you feel that? Feel what? Cold. She's a psychic too. Clairvoyant something. 
Transporting a prisoner here. I could use a room. Hey, you got a radio in that car? I got a lady in there pretty banged up. 442 requesting medical? Nothing. You got a first aid kit in there? Band-aids, that's it. Well, that's stupid. Looks like you're fucked. <laughs> you have no gas either? Yeah. Whoosh. It's good sewing. It's better than nothing. Where did you learn to do that? Pretty much where you're standing. So you've seen it before? He hasn't said a word since the accident. He doesn't talk much. I'm his stepfather. His father, two years ago, he, he left. Everybody has got a story, huh? Well, of course they do. <laughs> <laughs> Jake Busey? That sure is. Yeah. A lot of Starship Troopers in this. <laughs> chains. These chains. They're bad. Um, I feel like that was uncalled for. Just a little bit. Maybe we should take turns on the radio if that's all right. No, it's not. I can manage. He's a little sus. Just a little bit. You gonna arrest me, officer? But you know as a cop. Oh, no shit. <laughs> you got a name? Paris. Paris, huh? Never been. Well, you ain't going tonight. Hmm. <laughs> so there's shady people and then there's a few sane people. Well, you got this guy who seems very knowledgeable about things. We don't know what his deal is. And he's taking some kind of medication there. Not sure for what. But. Yeah. Mm. Oh, for God's sake. And she's got a bag full of money. Well, she does work for cash. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks flimsy. Let's see, you need... Whoa, what is that? He was shot in the back? Well, the person who wore that, sh that shirt was shot in the back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's in room nine. <laughs> the other couple was in room six, and... Hmm. It turned into room nine. What are you doing, you idiot? Oh. Well, that's one down. Yep. She lose both earrings? Or are these out the shower curtain? Oh. I know you're not going to stuff this lady in a drying machine. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that was your client. Look at how incredibly calm and nonchalant he is. Who is this? The woman I was driving. Hey, what the hell are you doing? There's something in there. You a cop? I was. Okay, that explains everything. Yeah, that explains a little bit. But then why does the cop know to do that? Yeah. She was in room 10? I am. Where's your guy? He's cuffed to a toilet. Have you checked on him lately? Oh, for God's sake. Good job, officer. In the matter of Malcolm Rivers versus the state of Nevada, we should wait till my client arrives. In order to uh, demonstrate his mental state, which is the purpose his of mental this. state. When your boy gets here, you do whatever you want with him, but in the name of decency, state your goddamn case. Fair enough. Yeah. There was an incident today. Carolyn Suzanne was murdered. Who's Carolyn Suzanne? Somebody with two first names for a first name <laughs> and a last name. Officer Rhodes is outside right now. He was transporting a convict. Who escaped. What are you what? doing? What, is that? what are you doing, man? Quit making people panic. Will you please shut the fuck up so we can talk? This is my place, Poe. Shut up, Larry. Oh, just got his gun out. Okay. What are we chasing here? Multiple homicide. I'll go around this way. He's in there. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. He's wearing a bloodied up shirt. Yeah. So... How long have you two been married? Nine hours. <laughs> we need to leave. Shit, Gina, I was just talking to her. Something what? is happening. I need Jeez. to get out of here. She's a wreck. Jenny! You don't own me, Lou! I own what's inside of you. Half of it, at least. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. We are not leaving, you understand me? There is no place else to go. Stop it! <laughs> I'm not pregnant! Oh. oh, no. You forced him into a marriage. Why would you do that to me? Because Allison saw you at the Hawk with that fucking girl. Jenny, God, what are we, like, 15? He's got a right to be angry, though. She did kind of lie to him. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like a motel owner. <laughs> Open the damn door, Jenny. Open the fucking door! Run it to you! Calm down! This is starting to feel like a about to turn into The Shining here. Look at this bathroom. <laughs> He's your husband. Yep. What are you doing? Can that's too quiet. Good lord. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that too. Got enough knives there? <laughs> and of course one is missing. Oh. You see the bloody yeah, handprint? I can see it, yep. Holy shit. Is he in there? Is he in here? It was her. No, she's kidding. She's in the area. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So that's what, two already? That's two. Oh, he didn't get far, did he? What a, this place looks eerie when it's like raining and lightning out there like that at night. Oh, yeah. I love it. Abandoned hotel? Are you back at the motel? This is a different one. What the hell? Oh, no. oh. How'd he get there? I don't know, that's messed up, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, I think you got him. They caught him. They caught him. Yeah, he just came back. <laughs> <laughs> that's some weird stuff going on here. Yeah, they've wandered into the Twilight Zone, haven't they? Larry, just stay here and watch him. I don't know if I'm comfortable with guard duty, per se. He's unconscious, Larry. And you have a bat. So you're armed. You're the best man for the job right now. Yeah. Hey, she's awake. It's a positive sign. Timothy. Timothy. That's a creepy looking kid. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? What do you got in the fridge? Doesn't look like a regular fridge. It's like a morgue. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Yeah. What do you got in there? Come on, you can tell me. I'm good at keeping secrets. I got a while for myself. <laughs> okay. I wonder what it could be. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, for real. Gang shit, that's mine. What are you doing? I'm taking photos. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not on the job anymore. There's a real live active duty cop outside who the can... The one who's managed to lose a convicted killer. Yeah, he sucks. You're a complicated cat, Edward. What month were you born? May. Same as me. Okay. Where were you a cop? Los Angeles. Were you fired or did you quit? Took a medical leave. Burned out, I guess. Wasn't up for it. I can see that. Yeah, it happens. One day I got a call for a jumper. Pregnant, infected with AIDS, totally strung out. She was truly one of the doomed. She asked me why she should bother living. But in that second, I couldn't think of a honestly one optimistic thing to say. That's not your fault. No, that's reality, man. So she spread her arms and jumped. I started getting headaches and eventually started blacking out. That's what your medication's for there. Are you kidding me? on the kid. What is it, some kind of countdown? That's what it looks like. What are you doing? Come over here. We told you to stay in here and watch the guy. Oh, my fucking God. Son of a... Get it. Oh, Oh, my God. It's a violent way to go. Say, how'd you get that down there? Larry, that's your baseball bat sticking out of his fucking throat. Why did you kill my kid? I didn't kill him. I just went back to my office. Ah, it is counting down. Number Wait, eight, no, ten, nine, eight, eight, huh? Yeah, yeah. Look, these are my keys, okay? See, yeah, actually, okay. Walking. Yeah, he's taking her money. I, I, no, I didn't kill her. All right, and I didn't kill her. Oh wow, you're not helping your case here. I didn't hurt anybody. Did I? I don't like cheap fucking wars. <laughs> oh! Now what is up with that? You just have a dead body in your fridge? He's out of here. <laughs> Boy, problems are really escalating here, aren't they? <laughs> Larry, Larry, wait, 
Don't they? Yeah, they kid. Oh, the dad's gonna die next. Oh. Oh, oh no. Wow. How Jesus. ironic is that? Both of them got hit by cars. Your Honor, this notebook contains entries made just before the murders four years ago. What you are looking at are the private thoughts of several different people. Wow. He's schizophrenic. Well, if that's the guy, then who's at the hotel? <laughs> he ran right out in front of me. I'm not a murderer. I'm a dead it. body in your freezer, Larry. I didn't kill him. I found him uh, like that. What? Found him where? You didn't bother to tell the cops when they got here? I was driving west. I didn't know where I was going, but I, I pulled in here at this place. And they were sitting at that desk right there was a the manager. Face down in a bank with pot pie. Uh, he took his place? That is so shady. <laughs> it is. And I moved Larry's body, and his name was Larry, too. Two Larrys? That's a convenience. Why can't you just admit it? Say it. I killed him. Oh, we got the guy two hours ago. You believe this shit? He had a knife to your neck. The story's so unbelievable. I think it just might be true. She's got a point. Uh, okay. We're gonna stay here like this in this room until dawn. If he tries anything, I'm gonna shoot him. And if any one of us tries anything, I'm gonna shoot him. Easy there. Yeah, you don't have to whip it out like that. Timmy, you need to stay in here with us, okay? It's all right. Oh, mom too. Where were you going with your con when you pulled in here? Carson City. I was going home to Florida. I was born in Florida. <laughs> Where in Florida? Holt County. That's where I was born. No wonder you left. Hmm. <laughs> Why would you want to go back? I just, I found a grove for sale on the internet. Nine acres, 1,200 trees, limes and oranges. Sounds nice. You want to be a farmer, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. She can't be dead. She was doing better. She's dead. What did he hear? I don't know. The room key, maybe? Yep. They were all right there in the room together. This is crazy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This doesn't make any sense. She died from an accident. George was an accident. Mm. That baseball down the throat, that had to be an accident. <laughs> no. Hang it up! They should have his body out there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> There it is. Who's in number five? See, I told you one thing. I was standing right there. I saw what happened. He ran out. Nobody could have known he was going to do that. No one human. <laughs> Listen. We got to get out of here. Take her car and get out of here. You her and the kid. There's right nobody. What about her? She was in six as well. Timmy, come on. Let's go. Get no, back. No, Where no. you going? They're leaving. They're not. Damn. Can't let suspects leave after four people have been killed. <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? Who rigs a car to explode in a motel? Kitty! Extinguisher! Hey, Larry! Fire extinguisher! Where? Back there! He got free. How did that happen? I don't see any bodies yet, do you? I don't either. They got so hot, they got cremated. There'd be something left. You did this! No, he's right. There would be something left. Yeah. I don't know how they could have survived either, because they were... They were close enough to the car when it exploded. All the bodies keep missing, too. Like, it, now this guy is gone. What is going on? Uh. Jesus. You got your bat back? <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Yep, yeah, and the mother probably now, too. All the blood is cleaned up? How is that possible? None of this makes sense. It's crazy. Okay, oh. this place is haunted. This place is haunted by hell. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you want? What do you want, you big pester? I am turning 30 next week, and I just want to go home and go working. <laughs> I don't blame you. It's your birthday next week. It's my birthday next week. The 10th. Me too. Wait a minute. There's a lot of birthdays here the same. Me too. Oh. Yeah. That's the connection. Yeah. All of them are May 10th. George York, May 10th. Alice York, May 10th. And May 10th. What are the odds? What are the odds? There's some divine shit happening there. Yeah, the universe is out to get you all. Holy shit! <laughs> Virginia, Louisiana, Carolina, Carolina, Paris, Nevada, Larry, Washington. The only connection is the birth date. 
put some points on the map here and figure it out. When I was going up the stairs, I had a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish I wish he'd go away. That's what the guy was saying at the beginning. Where did you learn that poem? Who am I speaking to? Look at me. Are you all connected to him? He is the crazy one. No, no, no. The other guy's in there. They're connected to him. Did you black out again? Where have you been? Driving this actress. And we got stuck at the motel. Wow. So it was all in his head. People started dying. And then their bodies, they disappeared. Do you recognize this man? That's the guy in the chair. Yeah. That man, Edward, is Malcolm Rivers. He was arrested four years ago and convicted of the murder of six people. Oh, my God. He developed a condition that is commonly known as multiple personality syndrome. Why are you telling me this? Because you're one of the personalities. Yeah. Because you, Edward, are one of his personalities. What? That's interesting, isn't it? He seems so rational, but he doesn't realize it. What the fuck did you do Try and calm to my face? Edward, that is your face. Wow. Jesus Christ! Where is my face? Why am I tied up like this? What happened at the motel? Incredible. They don't exist, Edward. You were all created by Malcolm as a child. Everyone named after a state. No, Everyone no, shared no. the same birthday. It's nothing that makes sense. Yeah. Everyone's named after a state. Okay. The face you saw in that mirror is the face I've always seen when I talk to Edward or Paris or Larry. So we're not watching what's going on in this movie for real? It's going on in his head as part of his treatment. Oh, God. Malcolm Rivers will be put to death unless I can convince that man that the killer is gone. <laughs> I need you to stay with me. Could you imagine being in this room watching this? Yeah, I feel wrong sitting there. Yeah. The killer cannot survive. So you've got a hooker as a personality. <laughs> you've got a criminal as a personality straight up. Well, at least one. You've got a crazy stepdad as a personality. A somewhat sane mother. Newly married couple. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I knew that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so interesting. Oh, that explains the shirt. Hey, what am I supposed to wear, man? You're in it. Should actually enjoy the ride. Yeah, right? Mm. There's the dead cop. That's why he didn't want them near the car. Paris. Paris. My god, she those just... parts are just shooting. Uh -oh. ah! Where are the keys to the car? Oh, thank you. Good job, Larry. Ah! Oh, no. oh, Damn. Give me the keys to the truck. To think the cop could have talked somebody off the ledge and decided, nah. <laughs> wow. That was his personality, yeah. He was a failure as a cop. It's crazy. <laughs> you guys are always just there. Stay here. It's gonna be okay. Okay, does he remember being back in that room? He's got to. Show me the keys to the truck, Ed. Showdown. Okay, they're taking they're each other out. They finish him. He's out. There you go. Congratulations, Malcolm. Now you're going to be an orange farmer for the rest of your life. <laughs> You can think about all them Johns <laughs> while you're out there in the <laughs> oh, field. <God. laughs> you gotta stay with me because we're gonna I'm gonna get through the truck. Put your arm around the neck. Then you gotta hold on. No, this is a figment of your imagination. You're off in the Twilight Zone for real. There is no hospital. <laughs> Where did you go before? Tell me what you saw. I saw you in an orange bro. Mm. Sounded like a nice dream, huh? Oh. A better one to live than this one. Did you see? I saw you in an orange grove. Hmm. So I guess he just keeps on living in this fantasy in his head, huh? 
is the recommendation of this court that Mr. Rivers' execution be stayed. I'm transferring Mr. Rivers to state psychiatric services. Wow. Doctor did a job. There you go. He's got his orange grove. You're just living in your head now, then. Yeah. You get to have fresh orange juice every day. That's nice. Although I'm not used to Florida looking so hilly, <laughs> I must say. It is all in his mind. No. <laughs> what the heck? No! <laughs> You're the last one, aren't you? <laughs> not the freaking kid. Oh my god, it is the kid. He did it all! Are you serious? Wow! <laughs> he blew up a car? No, please don't. What is it, Malcolm? Uh-uh, no, don't, don't do that! Do that. Whores don't get, get a second chance. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why are you saying that to him? <laughs> oh, Jesus. When I was going up the stairs, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish he'd go away. Well, what the actual hell? <laughs> I did not see that coming. Little psychotic bastard. <laughs> Damn. This is a damn kid. I knew that kid was creepy, but come on. Who believed it was the kid? It was like, there's free, some freaking Mikey shit there, man. Right. God. The kid needs to say, so how'd you get that baseball bat down the guy's throat, kid? That's what I want to know, because some of that stuff don't make any sense. You're what, seven, eight years old? How do you rig a car to explode? H how do you shove a baseball bat down a guy's throat who's taller than you? You must have learned how to how to do all kinds of stuff from like the two criminals there. Yeah. Because like, all right, to make a car blow up, you just stuff a little rag down the gas tank. Yeah. How did Jenny's husband not just like overpower you? Like, there's a lot of questions about how this kid got away with any of this. She's like, what do you want? <laughs> now, granted, yes, he's a kid. You wouldn't expect him to be a, a serial killer like that. But at the same time, if you see him holding a weapon, you should know something's wrong and have a way to defend yourself. You probably didn't see him holding a weapon. Probably just asked, what are you doing here? And then just. Yeah. This was insane. I really thought that all these people were having problems out in the desert. Mm hmm That's some good story writing there. That's some good misdirection there. Yes. Because right off the bat, I suspected Ray Liotta, even before we saw the shirt, because there was something fishy about him. Like, as a police officer, he doesn't seem like he knows what he's doing. And that was, like, as soon as I saw him. Because, you know, you have all these crimes going on. You have people dying. As a police officer, he should know. You have to be careful with the evidence. He has to know. You have to, you know, keep everybody together. His actions don't match being a police officer, whereas John Cusax did. And so, uh, you know, I thought that that's the way this was going, that we were going to find out, you know, that Ray Liotta was an escaped convict, which turned out to be correct. But then I wasn't expecting the whole thing where, okay, so this is all just part of some guy's fantasy. None of this is actually happening. It's all just part of something going on in dude's head. So that that right off the bat kind of took me by surprise, because I didn't know what was going on with that. Yeah, I guess you forgot to kill the kid. Okay. <laughs> you were using him to kill the others. Yeah. And you forgot, it's like, oh... Maybe I forgot to do this one. Okay. Well, you'd, you'd think that the girl could overpower the kid in there in that mind, but I guess not. That's what I'm saying. You, you would think somebody would catch on to the kid and stop him. Nope. <laughs> he, he was laying on the bed. He stood up, walked in mom's room, and then he came back and laid back on the... Okay. And in a way, it kind of doesn't make sense, too, with the, with the car exploding, because didn't we see them actually run around the corner to the car, see the car explode, but we never saw the kid, right? We never saw her again either. But, but, but I mean, all the bodies just disappear. But so. they show there at the end, you see the kid walking away from the car, but I didn't see that happening in real time. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah, he had a damn gangster action walk away from that car. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. He's like Stallone walking away from an exploding Jeep or something. And his only damn words in this thing happened at the end. Yeah. Or don't get a second chance. Wow. Well, wait, wait, as you're saying that, you strangle your damn doctor? Yeah. Well, he's not, he's not, he's not what, he's not what you're calling him. <laughs> and for that matter, how did you overpower two guys in the van? With shackles on. Like, none of them are armed. They don't have something to inject you with to calm you down. Well, what's the plan now? I mean... You won't get far. No. Shouldn't have opened that cage. I mean, God, come on. What kind of damn doctor are you? It's like, he let him deal with it on his own back there. Yeah. He didn't realize what was happening. Like, you didn't kill ten of them, you killed nine of them. <laughs> yeah. Too bad. And the one that survived is the one that did it all. Jesus. Unbelievable. Yeah, I, 
I did not see that coming at all. What is that kid supposed to represent, though? Is it like, because nobody else had a representative. They were just like nine different personalities. Well, my mind of a child here. I don't know. My guess is the kid represents his his original self. Mm, that could just be him as a kid. It yeah. could, it could be that could explain why the kid is still there because you can't kill who you really are. And he's just like constantly there in his mind because you know we saw kind of at the beginning then when alfred molina's going over his profile we see you know his mother's had issues his parents ended up dead he's seen some stuff as a child that's undoubtedly traumatized him and turned him into this psychotic killer and i guess that's just stuck in his subconscious for the rest of his life that's a great way of putting that there yeah so like this is who you really are you create all these other personalities so you can escape into and so that you could live vicariously through one of them yeah but your real personality wasn't going to let that happen. And no matter how hard you try, you can't kill what you are. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. That was, a great, that was a great story. I like this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a lot of fun because I'm, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what is going on. You know, at first you think, okay, well, obviously Ray Liotta's a, a psychopath. Nope, wasn't Ray Liotta. Then you th start thinking, well, there's something paranormal going on here because all the bodies are disappearing. Stuff is happening that seems like it should not be happening. You were in the void that was somebody's mind. Yeah. That desert, just a void. Yeah. It was just one surprise after another. Yep, and that motel just happened to be an excuse, like a little MacGuffin for everybody to meet at. Yep, fun mystery. Yeah. I'll tell you what, some of your, uh, some of your fantasies there actually came to life a little bit, because like, because like the, the, the hooker was actually in a motel with somebody <laughs> and had a whipped cream cake on his chest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's a bit weird. As a guy, that's where your mind wanders to, <laughs> being a hooker, but okay. That's trying to make enough cash to buy an orange grove. Yeah. Like, just live in an orange grove. <laughs> Honestly, that whole character is just kind of interesting. And they all had their own issues. They all had their own history. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> you created some very interesting characters to become. And the neat thing, too, is, you know, we see him kind of living in this delusion in his head. I think that kind of explains his eye movement, too. Because I know when I think, sometimes my eyes kind of shift side to side like that, too. And so I think that's what it is. I think it's just his mind actively going through the scenarios in his head okay you don't have like nine different ones in there do you who are you mm -hmm. there it is <laughs> there what it are you is. doing in my house there it is folks you get a different version of him every week <laughs> same the same guy here always a different person there no, <laughs> i am abraham lincoln <laughs> there it is movies like this are always great because it's like you think you know what's going on mm -hmm. and it's like you are never even close yeah it's, it's a good twist on the slasher thing yeah let us know if you have any favorites like this out there fam uh, we love good movies like this and i'd like to watch more of them there john cusack did a really good job and so did all the other guys there mm -hmm. nobody overpowered anybody they were all filling in a role so that's that's something i liked yeah so but we're gonna call it quits there guys as always if this is your first time watching i hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow if you enjoyed the video leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop a new one and should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind do so in the comments while you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. See what we're up to over there, guys. Also, if you feel like supporting this channel even further, I hope you'll consider becoming a member by hitting that join button. It's not required, and uh, Dan certainly wouldn't recommend it, but... I'll be with you while. But it might be. We'd love to have you anyway. But as always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. We'll see you, Joe. Later, guys. Bye.